Okay guys, as promised in the last video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into this uh, video sequence editor um, properties pane over here on the right. Um, and what we're going to look at today is um, alpha overlays and um, maybe crosses. We'll see how much time we have left, but the alpha over thing is basically what we're going to be looking at today. So, um, if putting an overlay over um, a video is something you want to do, for instance, how our logo appears over this, um, it's fairly simple to just go to add an image and then uh, find the image you want to use. And for this example, we'll use our new logo. And notice it's a PNG file with a transparent background. And so you'll just click that, add image to strip. And then, of course, it's it's warped because it's a different size. But And maybe we'll go into that today. But um, basically what you want to do is right click on that. And then again over here in this right pane, the properties pane, um, you're going to go, uh, left click on this and change it to alpha over. And then that will immediately remove that um, that channel that's transparent. Okay, since we're in here, um, one thing we're going to do is, um, and we'll cover this more in another video, but just, just so I can show you how to do this in case you run into this problem. If you want to make this a different size, you can go to Add, Effect Strip, and then Transform. And what that does is it automatically ties this this strip right here to this strip so whatever this does affects this now since we put that transform on there that transform strip automatically becomes um, non-transparent so you have to switch that to alpha over as well now in the transform thing if you move down here you have a whole new set of options um, this is where things get kind of different in blender so you have to be very careful with what you're doing, but now we can scale things. We can scale things on the X and Y. And obviously we want to make that round, our logo's round. So what I'll do is scale that in, just like that. And um, about right there. So now I have this um, up here where I want it. Now, obviously I don't want this logo just laying over here, so I'm going to want to bring it down into the the corner that's where i would typically put it so you can also do a position which is right here you can grab x and then y and then i still don't like how big that is so i will scale it down even more and again this is just an example um, and then i could bring it down here and that's on these uh bars over here all I'm doing is uh, left clicking holding and dragging left or right and you can also input the values by just left clicking but if you left click and hold you can drag or you can use the arrows on each end it's your prerogative anyway now I have this another thing I wanted to show you in this um, option here is um, the crossfade which is not necessarily a crossfade, but more of a of a fade in, fade out with an op, with a strip. So we'll right click, hold shift, right click that to move both, hold G, and then just move the mouse. And now we're going to want that to fade in from here to here, and we just want that to fade in the bottom, fade into the bottom. So if you notice now, it just has a hard a hard in and a hard out. So what we'll do is we're going to click on this get a little bit past the beginning and hit page down on your keyboard and I'll bring you back to the start of that strip and then what we're going to want to do is over here in the opacity left click and drag all the way to zero now keyframes are an important part of blender and this is how you can use keyframes in most in instances is to just hover over what you're working with and hit I on the keyboard and you'll notice as I hover over it and hit I it'll change color turns yellow okay so now we're gonna want to go however many frames down you want to I'll go about right here and then I'm gonna go over here again and take this back up to one and then hit I to make that keyframe 
now we have a fade in rather than a hard in. So as you watch it play, it fades in. And the same thing on the fade out. Figure out where you want your fade out to start. Make sure it's set to that one for opacity. Hover over, hit I on the keyboard, sets the keyframe, and then we'll go page up to get to the end of that strip. And then we'll drag that to zero, hit I, and then we have an in and a fade out. So that's one way that you can fade PNG alpha vector images or whatever over top of video in Blender. Again, like unlike some software, it's a more roundabout way of doing something, but it does do what it's supposed to do. And once you learn it, it takes no time at all. So I hope this video was helpful in some way to someone. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it around if you think somebody else might find it useful. Other than that, um, that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one. And in the next one, we'll most likely cover um, regular crossfades that are quicker and easier to do rather than a fade in, fade out. So again, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.